Hey guys, I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, the fourth quarter of the year, so the end of the year. Basically, it's October, November, and December. And uh, the end of the year is really a great time of year for businesses like ours, like creative businesses, uh, for paint parties and other event parties like that, um, to take advantage of the upcoming holidays and the upcoming you know events at the end of the year. You know, just like when you go to the stores, and actually they started a course months ago, but when you go to the stores and they're already putting out, like, I mean, obviously they already have it out now, but months ago they had, you know, Halloween stuff and they had Christmas stuff already and stuff like that. So they always plan really far ahead for those, even though it's ridiculous when it's summer and it's hot out and you go to the store and you see all the stuff for, you know, winter and, and uh, Thanksgiving and, you know, Halloween and, and Christmas and things like that. So, um, but the one, one thing to take from that is that they plan ahead. So just like with ours, with the, you know, with the paint parties and art parties, um, you would definitely want to plan ahead as well because a lot of places um, like to book their events plenty of time in advance. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. And the fourth quarter of the year, the end of the year, is really one of the most profitable times of year for businesses like ours. Um, almost, it's almost like three times. You would pretty much make it almost about three times as much as you make the rest of the year um, at the end of the year, at the fourth quarter. So I want to make sure that you take the time to take advantage of that. And if you haven't already, make sure that you plan out your parties. You want to contact all the places you've already contacted before and follow up with them. See about, you know, contact them and saying, hey, you want to book for October, November, and December. Also try to do it at least once a month because, you know, some people, if you're doing the public classes, you would definitely want to have um, an event in October and November, December with those places. So try to book out the next three months if you haven't already with the most popular venues that you already work with. And now if you ones you don't already have, definitely reach out to them and let them know that now is an exciting time of the year. There's going to be a lot of business. It's great to take advantage of planning out some, you know, artistic, creative parties for your venues. So make sure that's a way you can reach out to venues you haven't already reached out to before. So like I said, take a chance to follow up with all the ones that you've already worked with. Make sure that you have some uh, fourth quarter parties, especially around, you know, when it gets closer to November, December, it even gets even busier. Sometimes you might even want to book, you know, twice in one month to make sure to take advantage of all the people that want to have their events when they want to go out with their friends or their family, um, your coworkers, stuff like that. So that's for your public classes. Now for private events, that's a whole nother story. So private events is a huge, huge part of the business. And you would definitely want to make sure that you go through your list. If you don't already, if you have one, go through your list. Contact all the people that you've done private parts with you before and reach out to them about booking events coming up. And also you wanna make sure that you let them know about you know, the timing of things. You want them to know that, you know, please book with us quick because we, we're filling up with our calendars soon because obviously your calendars get filled up pretty quick. So you wanna make sure that it's not just open-ended. You wanna make sure that you have some sort of a timeline about when they can book with you. Um, it also helps them to you know commit to booking with you and stuff like that. So if you just leave stuff open and say, hey, book with us anytime, then they'll just, again, they'll just book with you anytime. So if you say, hey, you know, time's running out, make sure you get in, in for the holidays, get your time and get yourself booked for your private event upcoming. You know, their spaces are limited, our calendar's filling up, stuff like that. That helps them see the urgency in booking with you quicker. So first follow up with all the places you've worked with in the past with for, you know, for private events. And it can be, you know, individuals that had did their, like a friend party or a family party, or it can be, uh, you know, businesses and even corporate events. And the ones you haven't uh, worked with yet, make sure you reach out to a lot of places around. Um, places are always booking for um, their work parties, uh, team building. Uh, there's so many places working for a work party. So whether it's a corporate type work party or even like a small work party, like a, a dental office, all of them usually have work parties. And this is, a, you know, paint parties are a great, great activity for those. So make sure you reach out to as many places as you can. And just let them know that you're available for those type of events. So that make sure that they know about you and um, start booking those parties because again, your calendar is going to fill up really quick. Um, so make sure that you, and of course, if you want to, but now's a great time to make all that extra money for the rest of the year when your parties are slow, the fourth quarter is a great time to profit on all that stuff. So again, you know, October is when it really starts and it goes right into November. And of course, December is really busy too. So make sure you take advantage of all that time and reaching out to all those places you've already reached out to in the past to follow up with them. And then reach out to a lot of new places to let them know. And also try to book for, again, public classes, at least, you know, October, November, December. And with your private events, really just work in getting all those places filled in, all those spots in your calendar. So anyways, it's a great time of year to make a lot of extra money with paint parties and art parties. So make sure you take advantage of that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.